Man, bruh, I was on my trash route. I just seen this great car parked in the field. There was a dude who had a little 10 year old girl. I just saved that little girl life, bruh. I just saved that little girl life, bruh. Thank God, bruh. They got him now. What's going on? It's my liking to shine me host on and watch the two sanitation workers, Deion Merrick, Brandon Anton out of Louisiana are heroes today. They saved 10-year-old Jaleesa LaSalle. The young girl went missing the day before at 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. at a family member's house. The Amber Alert went out at like 1.30 in the morning. The suspect is 33-year-old Michael Surreal, who is on the sex offender database. I'm going to show you guys that. That's the that's him right there. All right? I'm going to show you guys his audio, his interview, and I'm going to show you guys the rest of his Facebook live. These two heroes, instead of just seeing something suspicious to keep going, they they stopped. Deion Merrick saw the Amber Alert of a gray Nissan. Saw it in the field. And blocked dude in so he couldn't get away. Called the police and waited for the police to get there. Blocked him in. Let me get back to the rest of the Facebook Live video. Then I'm going to bring you his interview. Man. Bruh. I was on my track. Man, that, 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 that's wild, cuz. And like I said, people act like they see stuff but they don't want to say nothing. Man, look. The car right there, the little girl safe right now. She's safe right now. She's safe, bro. Thank God, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a little girl. You know what I mean? On my job, doing doing what I got to do, dog. You know what I mean? Bro. I, I, just, I, just I just told my what you call it. I said, man, look, check this out. You know what I mean? Uh, God, bro. That's why I say, man, that man is real. A lot of people don't believe in him, but hey, they need to stop believing in him, cuz. They got that little girl, cuz. So, so many, t so much do, I say this all the time, in the black community, do we just mind our own business a lot? Too much, if you ask me. You know, we'll see something and just Ride right past. Oh, there's somebody getting carjacked. Oh, somebody's getting beat down because it's a disconnect with the police a lot of times. I think that we need to be way more nosy, people. If y'all see something, say something. Even if it's the slightest thing that's out of order, call the police anyway. Let me bring you guys this chump. It's on the sex offense registry. That's him right there. Already on the sex offenders list. This is him. Last verification date of 423, 2018, 33 years old. Tattoo on his arm. Date convicted, 10-6-2016. Knowledge of juvenile. Wow. Wow. And I saw this. The suspect, Michael uh, Surreal, is listed on the Parish Offenders Database. Convicted in 2016. This is Deion Merrick's Facebook page. I want you all to go on there and send him a message. Thank him for his honorable service. If we share videos, if it's a shooting, a carjacking, a murder... We shared thousands of times. His, his Facebook page. Um, this is the video here. Been shared 88,000 times. 88,000 times. Alright, so I want to bring you guys his uh, interview. It's an audio interview. And I want to, I want you guys to hear what and in his, in his, how he felt and what he was thinking. Uh, with me and uh, my co-worker, uh, Brandon Antoine, uh, we was on route. We was doing a recycle route. 
and uh, we seen the green car just walk in in the woods. And you know, normally it's normally a truck. You know, you can tell they're hunting or something, but a car just uh, in the woods like that. And uh, I noticed it from the Amber Alert, the silver Nissan. And uh, first thing I did, I told my uh, my coworker, I said, I think this is that that car with that little girl went missing in it. So I called 911. I put my uh, truck in reverse. Uh, I blocked the driveway in. So uh, if it was him, he couldn't get out. And come to find out, when I when I did my air brakes on my truck, he heard it and opened the door. And pretty much we seen that was the guy. So at the same time, uh, I was on the phone with the 911 operator, and she immediately uh, called for uh, a deputy from uh, St. Martin Parish Sheriff Department, and they was there in, like, less than a minute. And as soon as they got there, he, he was trying to, like, get out, but his car got bogged in. And thank God the little girl was okay. She was, like, almost like she had just woke up. She was sleeping in the back seat. Now, when he got out of the car, did he threaten you at all, Dion? Did he have any weapons? What did he say to you once, or say to you and your partner once he realized you were there? Uh, he, he really didn't, uh, like, he didn't see nothing. He just seen us, and he was pretty much stalled. Like, like, almost when you see a ghost or something, like, he would be he, he in his right mind. But, like, as soon as the, the officer had arrived, he, he uh, just start hollering and carrying on, but you know, it was it, it, it was just it just happened so fast, you know. Were you scared um, with the situation, or were you just scared that he'd try to get away and the little girl would be lost again? Uh, really, I wasn't uh, scared because uh, I used to be in the military. I was in the uh, United States Navy. Oh, served, thank uh, you. Years. So, you know, and like I said, I'm a God-fearing man, uh, you know, very religious. And like I said, uh, you know, I have kids myself, and, you know, I would want somebody to help my kids out if something like that would happen. You mentioned military background. Did any of that preparation come into play here? Uh, yes, it did, sir. Uh, pretty much uh, observing your surroundings and always keeping an eye out on different things that doesn't look right. You know, and like I said, that was like a, a sore thumb, you know, like a, a car in the woods. And like I said, normally, uh, it'd normally be like a truck, you know, you can tell somebody's hunting, you know, a pickup truck with a, a trailer, four wheeler in the back, but uh, a sedan car, you know, and like I said, thank, thank God for the Amber Alert showing the, the, pic, uh, the picture of uh, the actual car, the color, the suspect, and the little girl, you know, and that was a big help. Wow. I just thank God that you were there. Thank God all of your training kicked in and that, that you were, you and your partner, able to, to see this and just react. So. so, one thing he said was, be aware of your surroundings. If something don't add up, call the police. If something don't add up, report it and pay attention. Pay attention. There's a bunch of carjackies come going going on everywhere in the city of Chicago, and there was four young cats in a car, and they ended up sliding sliding into uh some a uh, some snowbank, and all of them were looking at me like right before they did, they was all looking at me, and then they went and then they slid into the uh, snow, and I'm like, damn, they were anxious looking at me. They could have probably possibly carjacked me, but here's what my point is. If you see anything, anyone, a lot of times, my cousin lived in a particular neighborhood. I go to his house and his neighbor walking the dog, come walking up and they're looking at me, looking at me. I go into his house and I'm like, Cuzzo, how can you deal with this? And they just nosy, nosy. He like, I'm used to it now, nah, man. But as nosy as they were, I think in my community, we need to be just as nosy. If something don't add up, call the police. If something, not that nosy though. That was something else. But when I say nosy, I mean, you know, the police work for us. There's a disconnect. They work for us. They work off our tax dollars. And 
in order that we got so much dysfunction in our community that could be stopped and it saves lives it saves lives had these two cats just said ah oh, let me go about my business let me get this trash oh there's something out the ordinary i oh, keep going that little girl may not be with us today the young girl may not be with us today so shout out to these two heroes that acted in a just matter and reacted to stop them to stop to apprehend them from murdering and kidnapping because he was already on the list for doing something similar. What has this taught you? Uh, basically, it's an eye opener, meaning if you see something, do something. Just don't, oh, it's not my, you know, it's not my responsibility, or uh, I'm going to let the next person do it. No, you step up and, and, and be, a, be a person, you know, a leader. If you see something that, that's not right, you take advantage of it, mm -hmm. you know. Did you get to meet Jaleesa? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you got to meet her. Uh, what was uh, it? I, I'm sorry, go ahead. Fact, uh, last night, last night uh, me and uh, Mr. Brandon Antoine, we brought her uh, balloons because her birthday was recently. Oh. And, like, you know, she like when she got abducted, I want to say they say she was nine years old. And, like, her birthday, she just turned 10 and everything. So oh. that was, you know, we, we went and brought our balloons and spent time with the family last night when we got off from work. What was that experience like meeting her, meeting the family? What was their reaction when they met you? It was, like, overwhelming, like, the love and and just being thankful that we actually, you know, saved this little girl's life because it, it, it was looking real bad because the location and everything where the, yeah. where, the, where, where the suspect was and everything, it, it wasn't it wasn't too good, you know. Yeah. But I just thank God, you know, and, and everybody's prayers and coming together as a community that we actually saved this little girl. Indeed. What is... What he's saying is, look at that location. Look at that location on where he was getting ready to dump that little girl. He was about to walk right into those woods. Possibly. Possibly. Right there in the woods. Had they not seen that. Who knows. So often do, if it's a fight. A killing or something like that. We share those videos. Go on his Facebook. I think they got a GoFundMe going up. I'm going to look that up. I'm going to post that in the description box. Go to his Facebook page. Um, you can look him up. On his Facebook page. This is his Facebook page here. Dan Merrick. You can send him a message right here. Thank him for his hard work and dedication. His training. Hero. This guy is a hero. Smart. And he saved a young girl's life. So, go there, thank him for his service, for his dedication and his quick thinking. So, like I say, if y'all see a neighbor that's suspicious, watch them. If you see somebody in your community that don't belong, watch them. If you see a car in your community that don't belong, watch it. Anyone, look out your house. Also, you could get ring cameras. Ring cameras are really good to watch people and things that go on. I got a ring camera. And it's days I look on there and this cat's driving around, just driving, looking, driving, looking. White van the other day just was driving, looking, driving, looking. And I'm like, yo, they don't live in my community. They don't belong in my community. You won't believe how many weirdos are walking around your house just looking. And the ring camera, if you guys have a ring camera, you know it pick up some of everything. It be like, did it, did it, did it. And you pick up just cars just riding past. Have no business. Um, I remember the first day uh, I walked my daughter to school in the morning. 
And first time I've been out there that early. And just watching creeps and weirdos riding around. I know I don't live in the community. Circling the blocks, just riding up and down. And I'm like, like, yo. And I'm watching and I'm noticing cats walking around in the neighborhood. Weirdos looking. Yo, we got to be more careful. We got to be more nosy. And we got to call the police a lot more. They work for us. So if y'all see something, say something. Try to prevent it before it happens. If you see got a weird neighbor, watch him. Watch him. If you see something weird going on with your neighbor you trust, watch them too. It's, it's crazy as that may sound. Anyway, share this video. Make sure you guys leave a description. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.